Hello everyone and welcome back to Winter Songs International Kitchen. Today we are going to make some codfish fritters, codfish cakes, however you call them. That's what we're doing, so let's get started. Okay, so these are the seasonings that I'm using. This is my great grandma's recipe. I'm going to tell you, that woman could throw down. She can cook her butt off. And I used Matuks because I did not have the original Bajan yellow hot sauce called Aunt May's. But if you don't have Aunt May's, you can use whatever you have as well. Um, the scallions, the red and green bell peppers, onions, thyme um, is the ingredients that you put in for the other seasonings, if you want to call it that, vegetables. And here is the shredded saltfish. If you don't know how to cook the codfish, I do have a video on saltfish that you can watch on my channel. So mix all the ingredients together with the shredded saltfish and just stir it all together so that it's all combined. Then you're gonna add the seasonings. I'm not really much of a measurer, but I did put some measurements in the description box below for the recipe so that you know exactly what ingredients, you know, measurements are supposed to be. Now I'm adding the hot sauce. There's two kinds, obviously. There's the Bajan one, and then there's the Frank's Red Hot. I use both. And then just stir it in, mix it together. Now you're going to add the flour mixture. I added in little by little. Sometimes, <laughs> not all the time. Um, sometimes I just dump it all in and stir, whatever. But this time I'm doing it little by little just so that you can see the consistencies, different ways. If you want it to be more cakey, you add all of it. If you want it to be more codfish whatever it, it depends on your taste but this recipe is made by a genius my great-grandmother is amazing so please follow every single one of her instructions because she is so amazing in the kitchen um, instead of flour she also used to use mashed potatoes which was cool um, or you could add both together if you try that um, I always did one or the other or both you know it still turns out to be amazing so you might just have to adjust the seasonings if the mashed potatoes are not seasoned already yum it's really good and after you get the consistency that you need you can start to put it in now I usually use two spoons to add the batter into the mix like you take one scoop and spoon and scoop and then you use the other spoon to let it drop down and then if you want to add more batter to it you just add another one because it's not a wet like drippy batter it's like a cakey type almost better and see they're frying now just like that 
then when you see it's brown on the bottom then you flip it and then you still continue to cook until it gets brown and here they are drain it on paper towels or a, a rack you can drain it on and just eat it it's so good <laughs> I hope you try it because you are gonna really enjoy it thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all I pray that God continues to bless you and keep you and to keep your family and you also in good health. Sending you love, hugs, and kisses. Bye-bye.